Hi guys, Andy Carter here from Improve My Golf and welcome to a second episode on basically me just trying to improve my pitching. Now, for you guys that watch our YouTube videos over the vlogs, you'll kind of know that the weakest part of my game by far is pretty much everything from inside of, I'd say everything inside of around about 130. So anytime I've got a pitching wedge in my hand and down to a lob wedge, it's just not it's just not the best part of my game. I'm pretty decent off the tee, long irons in hand, very, very comfortable, very happy to basically just jump all over and hit it pretty good distances. So this series is just about me picking out a few different yardages and basically talking you through how I play the yardages but also then how I can improve on those yardages because if I can improve every part of my game inside of 100 yards, I will get better, simple as that, scores will drop and I'll walk off a lot of rounds of golf really frustrated that hit this many fairways, hit this many greens, but I've hit this many greens from 30 feet and I need to be inside that, kind of that magic 15 foot marks, I can make putts from there. 30 feet, not only am I struggling for two putts, sometimes it's also going to be a very unlikely birdie. So it's important that from this distance we get close. Anything time there's a wedge in hand, we get as close as possible. So today we're doing 75 yards. And if you watched the video last week, funny story actually, the next day I went and played, I did a good couple of days practice and filmed the video. So I went out the next day, first hole, how far did I have? 50 yards. And this is where I got a bit complacent. I kind of thought, well, it's definitely just going to go inside of like three foot and I'll just top in birdie. But no, as it happened, I switched off and it went 20 yards. So I caught the ball one inch behind the ball. So that was, well, cut the grass one inch behind the ball. So that was really frustrating. But to be honest with you, since last week, I feel like my wedge play has been pretty good. I genuinely have been practicing every single day, even if it's just 10 wedge shots. Just something where here, here at Trafford Golf, we've got a few different yards. We've got 25, 50, and 75, and 100 yard flags and then everything in between as well. So what we're doing today, we're gonna to do 75 yards out towards the red flags, which you might be able to pick up. If not, we're gonna see some nice ball flights as well, but I've got 54 degrees to start with. Ball position, I need to put a glove on. What are we doing? I'll play without a glove. Right, so ball position, keep them quite central. Weight just forward in my stance. I'm not going to overload it. I'm not going 60. I'm not going 70% across there. Just ever so slightly, and then just get some rotation. Felt like a nice strike. Quite a quite a piercing trajectory actually. That's something I'm trying to improve. And that's 30 feet. I'm not great. 85 yards. And if you remember from last week that's what i said i'm really trying to change actually i'm trying not to get into impact like this i'm trying not to get that piercing flight because it looked pretty awesome but i'm looking for the softer feel so as i come up to the top of the backswing i'm going to start to allow the hands to release and just be a little bit straight to try and encourage a slightly higher flight that's better hands let let the hands go Still going to go too far, that I think. I've got 85 yards locked in anyway. Right. So, the question is how far do I think I'm swinging? And the answer is I'm not sure. Pretty much just past, around, past nine o'clock, then just letting the club release, it, release from there. Nine o'clock last session was the 50 yarder with the, with the 58 degrees. So now I've got the 54, similar sort of swing really. There we've got the height now. Sit, sit, sit. Sky track. Oh, come on. 90. Just played today. Played with Matt Fryer today over at Stockport Golf Club. Vlog coming very soon. Pretty, it was a pretty fun vlog to film, to be honest. Personally, four under for eight holes, so lot, uh, four under for 12 holes. A lot of up and downs with wedges. Not that you would believe that after these first, first three. Sit, sit, be good, be good, be good, be good. That's good, that's gotta be good. Yes, okay. 
Now we're cooking. Right, so what do I do differently? Not sure. I um, got, got my tempo a little bit better, not quite as aggressive into the back of the ball. 54 degree this normally, and this is normally what I would kind of hit from this distance. That could be short, I think. Maybe just a touch short. Fly. Well, maybe not. Tall foot. Better. Came out higher. Probably for me, seeing the ball come out higher on a slightly higher ball flight, that's not normal. Normally I'm seeing it really piercing, so I should probably associate that in my mind with something that's going to go really short, but no, that was okay, actually, in hindsight. That's nice. Right, I've got, I've got it, I've got it locked in. It's just a smooth nine o'clock, 54 degree. Boom, yes! That last one, that's my sixth shot, isn't it? Right, so first three were pretty shocking. Last three, much, much better. So first three, I'm not holding any of them putts for birdie. In fact, the third shot, I'm chipping back, I think. <laughs> um, or I'm probably making bogey. Next three, last three, I'm gonna make two birdies. Two birds out of those last three holes I'm going to make, unless they are ridiculously difficult putts. Okay, so we're going to do the same again with a 58 degree. Right, so a little club change and off we go. Okay, so 58 degrees, 75 yards. It's not a full shot, but it's a good three quarter swing. We're going to get a lot of height and it's probably the sort of shot we use if the flag was tucked in behind a bunker or something like that. So this is where we need we need to come in really high. Let's have a look. Sit, 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 sit. I'm gonna go 85 that one I think. Yeah. 84. Well there'll be 85s. Lovely height, good accuracy actually. Um, just a touch, just a touch big. Just a nice ball mark there in the middle of the club face, it was a good strike. Let's try again. Slightly open stance, ball position, I have it central, just forward of central if I'm going to say anything. Allow my body to release, allow my hands to release the face and touch it later. I'm staying silent because I'm not sure. Yeah. Ripped it. Got a little bit more speed through impact. I do have to be careful that I try to keep a similar routine, similar speed of swing, a similar rhythm to what I would do on the golf course. So I'm not being funny, if that's got grass around it, you won't see me just go, ah, and just smoothly to clip that off the map. You're gonna see me attack the ball. When I attack the ball, my swing speed goes up, the ball speed goes up, and so does the distance. So in my mind, I'm trying to replicate what I would do on the golf course as well with a little bit of speed and width through impact. I think that's good for distance, it's a tough ride. Not bad, not bad. I think what we're getting from this, because there's so much loft, ball's coming out higher, I'm probably struggling really to find a, a comfortable swing. So obviously it's going to be a longer swing, it's a longer shot with the shorter club. I think that's going to be good. Okay, I think that's going to be good. I was practicing this shot yesterday. A bit disappointed how it's uh, worked out. But okay, maybe it's just a familiar thing that I go straight from club to club without really having a practice and I can't do it. Shame we don't get three attempts on the golf course. Right. Got that yard is locked in. Do it again. Sit, sit. Wide. Four right. My word. Can I put that down as a technical fault? Because it didn't look that wide. Give me a break. Okay, bit of a bit of a plug really for Skytrack. I have had a guys come in who've been fitted recently at Torx Golf, who you may know from a few tweets that I've messaged about. They, they kind of hooked me up with my with my irons, and their Trackman figures are exactly the same 
That's what we were getting with the sky traffic today. My last, my last client tonight. So really impressed actually. When I see the PDF that comes through from Trackman, we compare it to what how we're hitting it with the uh, with the sky track. Incredible piece of kit. So I've genuinely, I, I genuinely trust the distances this has given me. Something, if I'm going to be honest, I didn't always trust with Trackman. Uh, sorry, with with their flight scope. Some few guys are asking me about that as well, and there will be a review coming soon. We're going to do a bit of a comparison. I'll set the flight scope up, set the sky track up, and see what figures it gets. Obviously, then all I can do is tell you if I agree with which one. Ideally, they'll both be the same, so I don't have to be favouritism to anybody. That felt nice. Twirl the club. That's going to be good. Get in the hole. Not bad. Not in fun. Makeable, makeable. That's where I've got to be different. Got to give myself chances. Right, so best one. Fourth shot and last shot. The others were shocking. Right, okay, so what does that tell me? Don't hit 54 from 75 yards. Or it tells me to practice more. Right, last one, 50 degree. Okay, so 50 degree, when would I use this? From 90 to 120. I would not use this for 75 yards. I would use my 54 historically. Unless the next six shots are pretty awesome. Okay, that felt pretty good, actually. So a nice feeling of the swing, actually. 15 feet, pretty good. Yeah, that felt nice. I could saw the, kind of saw the swing off, just kind of rotate. Just getting myself to there, and the first thing I want to think about now is just rotating. Letting that left arm into club, the lead arm and club be quite straight, and just rotate for impact. That's quite a, that's quite a nice, nice feeling. Let's try it again. I just pushed it a touch right. Distance wise is the one I'm massively interested in. 16 foot, 50, uh, sorry, 76 yards. So yeah, I was just 15 foot right of the target effectively, so, okay. Good thing about practice guys, you learn shots, you learn some more shots. I'm a bit frustrated with the way the 58 went, because honestly in practice I've been, I've been really comfortable with that, but this actually just feels, just feels nice. That's a bit straighter. The last one was a bit of a 15 foot pull, wasn't it? A bit long, yeah, 34 feet. Not a good shot. Accuracy better, three yards left of target. Okay, come on, we've got to get something inside 10 foot. Maybe just felt a bit quicker on that actually, I didn't feel quite as smooth. That felt smooth, the hand felt softer on the grip, felt softer through impact, I think that's going to be good. Yeah, mm, well, actually, 14 foot, not bad. I could make that, I could make that putt. Two yards left of target. So again, we've got accuracy going pretty good. That's a pull. That's a right hand, I'm gonna play pull. Good distance though. Yeah, so four yards left of target on that one. Felt very pulley through impact. I kind of almost felt like I really manufactured it through, through the impact area. Right, last shot. Best one to beat is 13 feet. Right, we can do this. Go on, I've just dialed, I've just dialed in 75 yards. That felt like a good swing. That felt good, you can probably tell from that. In fact, I felt held it, follow through. 10 foot, ah, nearly single figures. Okay, so my practice sessions and the lead up to this video, I basically 75 yards I've been practicing since Monday. Every time I've practiced up until the Monday, and then I do a new yardage, practice, film Wednesday. So I am, um, I mean, quite content with 50 degree. 15, 16, 14, 13, 10 are not bad. Not, not bad. More practice after two or three days of practice with it is, is they're not, they're not too bad. 34 feet obviously is not great. Uh, the, the 58 degree just didn't perform very well. Yeah, it wasn't great. It wasn't a great performance by 58. 54 was as expected it would be. I thought I'd hit some 
long shots because I'm only swinging kind of halfway. I hit the long shots at the start, so maybe again, just having, maybe just, I've literally just finished teaching jumps on the mat, maybe just got a little bit quick with my tempo on the first few, but I dialed it in really nicely on the last three. So I would use 54 on the course, then 58 and then 50, but after that session, I'm gonna reevaluate, I'm gonna practice again, and I might even go back to using more 50 degree shots. Just, you know, with that kind of slightly more piercing flight without having to manufacture it like I probably used to. Little treat. It's based on the driver. Right, three drives, okay? Longest one. Let's go. Long dog. Okay. Driver to finish, okay? Just a nice little nice little way to end this pitching video. Missed the fairway anyway. A little bit left, 270, not the May West. I just pushed the sky track back there, so a bit of a schoolboy on my part. I didn't quite line it up correctly. It didn't seem like it was that far off line, to be honest. All right, come on. What was that, 270? Oh. See what happens when you try to absolutely muller it. Right, that was rubbish. Two, six, three. Right, okay, come on, we can do this. Let's hit a good one. Come on. This will be a good way to end the video. Remember that. Oh, yes. See ya. That's got to go long. Go on, ball. No, definitely longer than that. Go, go, no, not it. Sky track rubbish. Okay. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed that video today. Another pitching kind of insight into my gradual and continual improvement over the next month before Euro Pro Tour qualifying. That's something I want to be going for. Schedule's not out yet, so I think it will be in March. When I get to kind of Feb, I will probably evaluate my game. It's quite expensive to, to enter, so I'll be kind of evaluating my game. Do I feel like I'm good enough? Do I feel like I'm up to it? So that's, that's why I want to give myself the best opportunity. So good practicing, and obviously you guys can follow me on the journey to try to get better. Also, hopefully you're picking up some nice tips as well along the way on how to practice technique. We've spoke about technique. Club selection, so we've done different lengths of swings with different irons. So. Hopefully this is something you can bring to your practice sessions as well. You can improve with me. Guys, thanks very much for watching. Please do subscribe to the channel. Loads more content like this coming out over the next few weeks. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again very soon.